Hi guys, it's Alyssa Dawn and today I'm going to come on here and kind of show you guys some of my art that I do in my free time. Nowhere near professional art, <laughs> might I say. Um, and it's not a whole lot so this is going to be kind of a short video. I might like talk about something else or talk about like what inspired me to paint it and blah 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 blah, you know, talk your ear off basically. Um, I don't know what to start off with. I think I'll start off with these little guys. First of all, before I show you the art, let's admire these frames. I got these frames, um, they're like little click frames that you open up. They have like this type of saran wrap, really great for mounting like beetles, small butterflies, small moths. I love it. It's, I actually have a beetle that I have to mount uh, later today in one of these. So yeah, they're cool. Um, I think I'll start with my like least favorite and kind of go up to like my most favorite uh, art. Um, sorry, like small, medium, large. All right, so least favorite, but still really cool. This little guy, do you see the like little reflection? This is just paper inside here. Um, and it says Spawn of Satan. Um, <laughs> it's one of my uh, friend's uh, kids when they were a baby. And um, I think I drew the devil horns and all that when I was mad at her. Uh, we're cool now, but <laughs> yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> but the the eyes are like probably my favorite part. Um, but yeah, it was just a sketch that I was like, let's put some, um, what's it called? Some colored pencils, Prisma pencils too, um, cut out because it's a cool sketch and then uh, put around the house, so. <laughs> Uh, this next one, I don't know which one I like more. Okay, so I like this one more, so I'll put it down. <laughs> this guy, he is actually one of those tiny uh, canvases. I did him recently. Uh, it says zombie cat on there. It was a sketch that was in my sketchbook, and I was like, I kind of want to paint this. So uh, instead of ripping it out of my sketchbook, I just redid it. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. There is a gnat in here, and it's driving me insane. Um, but yeah. It's pretty cool how you can kind of see the canvas floating in there because it's clear. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite little one and I think it's just the colors because I'm really all about these colors. It's just another piece of paper with a skull in it. Um, kind of says up there I need a raise because I did that a long time ago when I worked at, I think, Subway. <laughs> so I needed a raise. Um, now I need a job, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, least favorite, I don't know, maybe this guy. The rest I kind of really like, so yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm speeding through this. I don't have a lot of art, is probably why. This guy still needs some more touches, so don't judge. Also, I'm trying to sell this guy. Um, but yeah, it's little mushrooms, like rainbow mushrooms. You can see the texture that I need to clean up. He needs a clear coat, and you'll get rid of that texture. Then you go back over it, I think again, but it's a small record player, re not record player, small record um, from my grandma that just does not work. It is Leaving by Don Williams, right? Yeah, Don Williams. Maggie's Dream is on A side. I painted on B side, so it's really pretty. I have another rainbow one like this that I'll utilize and do a rainbow or something kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's got a lot of like weird paint texture because it's hard to work on these records. You have to do in a lot of layers. So this is probably like five layers of paint. Um, that's why it's still not done because I've been putting it off, but it's cute regardless. Um, and it fell, so that's cool. It's the grounds art now. Um, this next one, I had a watercolor, and this isn't done with watercolor, it's just watered down uh, acrylic paints in some parts but I did a watercolor like piece like a long time ago, um, probably when I was in high school, and it was of this guy. I wanted to draw like a skull with like a train mouth, and I was playing a lot of Persona 5, so um, I was thinking about like all the like, uh, all the mushroom guys, like decaying guys, so yeah, here's him. He needs a clear coat too. A lot of these I did around the same time, or finished around the same time, and I was like, I'm gonna clear coat it outside and it's raining, so <laughs> um, yeah, never got to it. This is probably the one I'm proudest of and like the most, and I'm gonna have the hardest time selling if anyone ever wants to buy it. 
Um, and that's purely because it's party poison. <laughs> um, MCR. Uh, yeah, he's cute. This is him. But I put a lot of, I don't know if you can even see the shading, but I put a lot of detail into the mask specifically. And I just, I don't know, I like the style. Um, I typic I think this is one of the first, uh, like pencils, like Prisma, not Prisma, this is colored pencil that I've done. So it's just kind of near and dear to me. So yeah, um, I've been trying to get, that's everything by the way, I don't have a lot, <laughs> I haven't had any of my art like in my possession from like high school and like years. I haven't seen it. I don't know where it's gone. I used to be painting and drawing all the time. Like I actually had three art classes on accident in one year so no not three it was two um and i wasn't supposed to so <laughs> um it took away i was supposed to have pe credit so i had to do pe with like some freshmen but regardless it was a really fun year it was my freshman year um but yeah i just i don't know i want to try to get into art more um i kind of want to get like more comfortable with drawing like realistic stuff but at the same time i like these skulls i like things like this and um, I kind of want to do this vibe where it's like kind of death like themed, but we got like these Lisa Frank colors coming out like this. <laughs> Just kind of stay with the scene queen stuff like this, <laughs> you know? Um, I think that would be really cool. I think maybe like a series like with decomp paintings. <laughs> which is kind of touchy for some people. It's kind of gross and it's kind of morbid if it's based off like a real like decomp. Um, and then you have to look at the reference photos and it's kind of gruesome and sad, but decomp setups with these neons and stuff like that, I think that would be really pretty. So I think I'm going to, uh, or really cool. I think I'm going to work on stuff like that. But yeah, I've been thinking about being a crime scene cleanup person or like just hazmat in general cleanup where you clean up the decomp, where you clean up, you know, the blood, the excrement. There isn't, did you see that gnat? Did you see how big that gnat was? He was so big, <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's kind of the direction I wanna go into. I've been practicing tattooing um, myself, but it's been a minute. I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen my leg before. Um, it's nothing to write home about, and also I am hairy, but I will, I will show you without exposing myself. Oh no. But I practice on my leg. You can see my dirty socks on the floor. That's cute. But yeah, I need better photos or something. And now I can't put you guys back on the ring light. But yeah, I need to clean my depression room because it's bad. I just recorded a video with my makeup. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, it's basically why I quit CVS, why I left my old job, and all the stress I was feeling, and I was like really rambly in that one, kind of like this one, but it was like way worse. So if you wanna see that mess, it'll probably be up uh, tomorrow. So this is going up today. So I'll see you guys around in a week. It's gonna be my birthday, May 5th. So that's cool, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed, and I kinda am. Um, I got like something covering that contact so I'm keeping an eye out for Selena and it's not your business okay <laughs> but yeah Let me put you back up here um trying to think if I need to update you guys on anything else okay I guess not <laughs> I'll see you guys that's eyeliner by the way no it's glue for my eyelashes because I was struggling. Anyway, I'm tired of holding my phone in the right position, so I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a good day.